But you know, how much do we really believe the word of God? Yes. Wow. Amen. When God tells you to go lay hands on that sister and tell her thus and thus, thus saith the Lord. Do we really believe thus saith the Lord? No. He tries to equate it to something that we understand naturally. He says it's like when it rains, the water has an effect on flowers. You ever see a withered plant? You know, people, they buy plants, but they don't never water it. I'm sure the plant is going, man, why did they put me in this house? <laughs> I wish somebody else would water it. And I sit there for three weeks, and ain't got a drop of water. And he's all like, you know, and you finally look at the plant, and maybe I should water that plant. Yeah, probably a good idea. <laughs> but soon as you give the plant water, the next morning, the leaves are vibrant. He's saying the way that plants respond to water, that's how my word responds to me. Yes. If I tell my word to do something, it's going to do it. It's a guarantee. If I tell the man to promote you, listen, he don't have a choice.
they keep trying to get the desires of the heart and it keeps eluding them. And so they try harder and they try harder, but they live in sin. And God says, if your ways please me, you won't even have to try to get the desires of your heart. I will give you the desires of your heart because I know what's in your heart. I know what you want. I know your desires. I know your thoughts. I know every hair on your head. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all of these things will just add it to you. Oh, you don't need a 12-point plan to get blessed. You need a one-point plan. Follow the Lord, he'll bless you. Be just like Abraham. He just followed out everybody. And then uh, after a while, it says Abraham was rich. No, no, no. He said he was very rich. <laughs> What's my point? I want to be very rich? No. The point is that when you follow God, everything that you desire, God just gives it to you because he loves you. And he owns all the cattle on the thousand hills. All the silver and gold belongs to him. And so all of this, you know, clamoring, trying to, you don't need to clamor. God moves folks out of the way. Say, back up. This is my son. He's first in line. Ezekiel chapter 37. 